Welcome back dear students to another video tutorial on ArcGIS. You have already known that I am preparing this video tutorial for your practice in home for your ArcGIS laboratory work so that you can use these videos as a guideline and work, keep on working. We have already come to the end of our syllabus so today is uh, almost the last lecture of our syllabus that is data interpolation. Today I am going to show you how you can prepare map using data interpolation. It is a basically a geostatistical technique where you will estimate some values, some missing values or where is no kind of sample or no, no information or about the attribute table. You have to estimate the values of the selected areas from the uh, present existing values. So this is called data interpolation where you will estimate the values and for geostatistical analysis data interpolation is very important because it is not possible or, or it is a very tiresome work time consuming work to collect the data on each and every point. For example you want to show the rainfall map on GIS so it's not possible in Dhaka city it's not possible you to show the all the rainfall points of Dhaka city every coordinate so you will collect some stations data and then interpolate some interpolate the other areas through various process and in data interpolation in GIS you can use many kind of there are numerous types of interpolation methods it depends on what type of interpolation you are looking for and what are the basic criteria of your in interpolation. Among the interpolation methods, you can see there are lots of types, aerial, aerial interpolation, diffusion interpolation, disjunctive krieging, empirical Bayesian krieging, Gaussian geostatistical simulation, global polynomial, indicator Kriege, inverse distance weighted method, kernel method and many others. I will not go through all of these. Today in our video due to shortage of time we will only just see how you can estimate or you can prepare a map using this inverse distance weighted method that is called IW, IDW. Now let's see how this inverse distance weighted method works. It actually estimates the cell values by averaging the values of sample data points in the neighborhood of each processing cell. That means in IW, IDW, you have to select a processing cell size and it will estimate the values inversely related to the distance. That means from the axis, the value that are farther that will get lesser weightage and that the points that are nearer from the axis that will get higher weightage. That's why it is told that it is told here that the closer a point is to the center of the cell being estimated, the more influence or the weight it has in the averaging process. And it will just use the special autocorrelation between the points. If we just check on the photo here, you can divide the cell size into two sectors, four sectors and see the reds got the higher weightage because these are nearer to the nearer from the axis and these blue points or blue dots get lower weightage as these are farther I mean the distance from this axis to these points are greater that's why it has got the inverse relation and the lesser weightage so I'm not go going through all of these PDF files because it will be time consuming you will just go on this PDF file, I'm starting to work on or starting to show you how you can prepare the interpolation map using geostatistical tools in ArcGIS. So let's start. 
Well, the data interpolation method is very important for not only collecting, not only showing the data that will create the 3D surface or that will have the Z values, but also is important for any kind of point value estimations, for example, population densities, rainfall data, temperature values, and many more things. You can use it, interpolate in every aspect of analysis. It depends on the researchers in which aspects he wants to find out. So in this video tutorial, I have tried something very important for this situation, this coronavirus pandemic. I have tried to show the confirmed COVID cases situation using the IDW's inverse distance weighted interpolation methods. That means I will be showing in Dhaka city areas which areas are more risk prone and more affected and which areas are less affected using this interpolation method. For this, I had to prepare the data. I had to collect the Dhaka administrative boundary shape file first where the word numbers are being given. If I just open the attributes, here is the word IDs and the word names. I have input, I have edited the values and input the word names using the arc editor tool, arc map ed editing. I'm not showing this edition process here. You have already class, you have already a class on edit, editing tool. So I'm not showing how did I just add the names, word names. And then I just create a new point feature, point shape file named as Thana. You can name whatever you want and just give some random points over the region of Dhaka city. Now I try, I just give the points in each word, according to that, each word. Then I input the values of confirmed COVID case according to the word. And I just collected data of the COVID infected people from this side. The IDCR side where they give the life live update of the confirmed cases so if you just click on this you will just be showing the areas stage count and it will show you the number of confirmed cases and this as this is uh, this gives the live update so this map will be invalid after some days so i have used the data from two days back so you can make your own data you can in give the your own values on the attribute files the confirmed covid cases and then you can analyze again and to show the estimated values using the data interpolation method in this point value features we have this field i have added this field that uh, covid cases confirmed covid cases and i have input the number it's not actually appropriate complete 100 percent accurate because uh, some of the words number and name might not be matching and the number might be changed but i'm here only to give you example how you can just interpolate the confirmed COVID cases values using this geostatistical analysis. So after adding the data from your folder, I have already added the data. You don't need to do much. You have to just go the our toolbox. And open the geostatistical tools. Let's open the Arc Toolbox. I actually, I have already done the IWD, but I'll show you again how you can do this process. So opening the Arc Toolbox, you have to go on Geostatistical Analyst Tools here, Geostatistical Analyst Tool, and click on the Interpolation Method.
So in interpolation, you will be seeing that there are lots of interpolation that I have mentioned in this PDF file. That diffusion interpolation, empirical Bayesian Kriging, global polynomial in interpolation, IWD and many more. These, these all interpolation methods have different kind of uses. But today we are only showing you the IDW method. So you have to click on this IDW method. And our input feature class is the point feature. Definitely, you have to estimate the values based on the point shape file. So, our point feature is the Thana named as, and the Z value field, the values which you will be estimating. So, in Z field, I am just putting this as the confirmed cases Thana COVID case. Now you have to change some of the environments because the interpolation will not get the area unless you make it fixed. It will, as it is raster interpolation or raster analysis, it will be working on the cell size, not the vector analysis. Before you go to the environment settings, here you have to set on the output raster value where you will be saving your raster. I'm naming it as there is already a file named IDW, so I'm naming it IDW2 for saving the output raster. And here uh, you don't need to give the weight field, weightage field, and change all these things. The things you have to change from here the environment settings because the IDW interpolation should get its the region or cell sizes so I have to change you have to change or you have to fix out the processing extent to which process it can estimate because for example beyond the boundary there could be some other points or there could be no points so it will take this distance also and it will be in confusion how much area or how much extent should it take for interpolation there should they, that would be infi infinite so we are just changing the processing extent not to the default but to the area same as the layer Dhaka administrative boundaries because we are confining these areas Dhaka to the administrative boundaries. So here the coordination has already fixed. Now you have to change the raster analysis mask values the cell size maxima of inputs and you have to change the mask you have to fix out the boundary in which you are working on so I'm changing the mask working on the Dhaka administrative boundaries just give ok so our environment is set now we are just doing we'll be just starting doing our interpolation analysis Here, the working process will be going on. Let's see how it works. It will take some time for the interpolation. You can also do this interpolation method using the editor tool and geostatistical analysis tool from the editing. So our IDW is done. So there is a tick marks. New IDW is here. I'm just unchecking the boundary level and unchecking the level features. The estimation has been done. As I put the values, 
according to the attribute table you will see that the areas which are more which are found more covid cases that is the eastern zone of dhaka city that is rampura badda rajarbag fokirapul motijhil and gulshan bonanis these areas are highly affected rather than the northern part and rather than the southern part of this dhaka city region it depends on the value you have given i have given some random values from these websites these are not completely accurate if you give the accurate values now live update then it will show the areas which the government has declared the lockdown areas then it will definitely show the red values you can change the estimation classify classification in the properties using and the using the symbology here the classified values are 10 classes and it is classified into geometrical interval you can change these classes numbers um, for example you were uh, you want to classify the values into eight classes and rather than geometrical interval you want the equal interval then it will show the equal interval with this process but i think rather than equal interval uh, the geometrical interval was better and you can fix out your maximum and minimum number and define the other things here here are the minimum and here is the maximum so the maximum values is found on covid cases is found on the mohammadpur region mohammadpur sheketek adabar and this eastern region although the dhanmond area is quite dangerous and quite risky but in map it doesn't show that much here is the dhanmondi region so using this interpolation method you can easily find out the covid confirmed cases hopefully you will be working on this and explore more and more by using these interpolation methods you can also prepare the density map and the tin model further later on you can you have to use the krieging interpolation method and some other geostatistical analysis method for preparing or pro for creating a surface analysis will be if we have enough time we'll be seeing on the next classes so that's all for now hopefully you will get help from these video tutorials keep watching and stay safe stay fine thank you very much all of you